one special hell. Meghan turns Harry into LA house husband over her shocking move for political run. Meghan Markle has been moving forward in a totally different avenue to Prince Harry, a royal expert has claimed. Meghan Markle has been pushing forward to use her platform to lobby politicians. The Duchess of Sussex called Senators Shelley Moore Capito and Susan Collins on a withheld number about paid parental leave and a climate policy by the U.S. government. Royal expert Neil Sean has claimed Meghan's involvement in politics has left Prince Harry as a house husband. Speaking on his YouTube channel, Mr. Sean claimed, as we've found out Meghan Markle says that she definitely will be going to Washington to support the causes that are close to her heart. While she said previously that she doesn't demand or require a political career, it seems more and more that Meghan shines in the spotlight moving forward in a totally different avenue. Prince Harry, the real royal, seems to be stepping back and becoming something of a house husband. Royal commentator Hilary Ford which hit out at the Duchess of Sussex for getting involved in politics while using her title. It has since been reported Meghan is expected to make more of these calls. Access Hollywood reported, these won't be the only calls Meghan Markle makes. Democratic Senator Kirsten Gillibrand from New York was the one that gave Meghan the numbers to the U.S. Senators. She wants to be part of a working group to work on paid leave long term and she's going to be. Whether this comes to fruition now or later, she'll be part of a group of women that hopefully will work on paid leave together. Royal biographer Angela Levin has mocked Meghan Markle for jumping on the bandwagon after the Duchess lobbied the Democrat Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives Nancy Pelosi and the majority leader in the U.S. Senate Chuck Schumer to push through a policy on parental leave. Ms. Levin claimed the measures, which have been backed by President Joe Biden, to introduce mandatory parental pay and sick leave had already gone through the U.S. Congress. It comes as growing numbers are voicing their belief that Bayed Duchess of Sussex has complete control over her duke. The growing consensus regarding the Duke of Sussex is that he is a puppet and that his wife Meghan is pulling the strings. This may not be true at all but it is what is continually printed by the media. The Duchess has been painted as a gold-digging female who always had her sights set on a prince. This takes away from the fairy tale that Harry and Meghan simply met and fell in love. From the beginning of their engagement the negative comments began and eventually took on a life of their own. No one but Harry and his wife know what is really going on in their marriage but the rumor mill has painted Meghan into a corner that she may never be able to get out of. In tearing down the Duchess, Prince Harry's reputation is also affected. The end result is that the youngest son of Princess Diana is being painted as henpecked and under Meghan's evil spell. Some are even referring to the prince as poor at why whipped and that's pretty harsh. This is a sad state of events for the young man who once was third in line for the throne. Those who are being brutal are not even taking into consideration that Harry is an adult who can mage his own choices. Prince Harry had always been somewhat different than the other royals from the color of his hair to his temperament. Rumors have stated without proof that Harry's father is not Prince Charles but Diana's former lover Major James Hewitt. When asked Hewitt says Harry was conceived long before he took up with the Princess of Wales. Diana's brother the Earl of Spencer says Harry's coloring comes from his side of the family but this is ignored by conspiracy theorists. Just imagine growing up under such scrutiny. Consider also that if Prince Charles had already been crowned king, 